Okay, let's take a look at the uh, TurboCAD Deluxe tool set here. And what we have underneath our window is a render library, which is very extensive. We have lots of arrays of bricks, carpets, marbles, granites, uh, for walls and that type of item and here's the types of metals and another a foil that's looking pretty cool don't get that one in the pro version hey we gotta have a giggle every once in a while if we don't have ooh, I think we need to test that on something oh yeah so let's open up one of my previous programs that I had done. So I'm going to hit right click, which is a view dialog. And I'm going to click on show all objects. And let's take a look at that metallic. Oh, yeah. And all you do is grab it with a left mouse click. Drag it on over to an item, preferably surfaces. <laughs> but you knew that, didn't you? And then just because I'm such a wise guy, let's add a European beach. How about a Colorado spruce onto that blade? And stained glass Tiffany. Ooh, let's take a look at that. Well, you architectural people get all the goodies. Wow. Obviously, you can tell I haven't played very much with the uh, deluxe mode. And a carpet, a tile, a mosaic tile. Let's put that onto there. Oh, that's what I wanted to see. I wanted to see the pixelation so that I can show you one of the cool tricks that happens when we go into edit object. And what do we have now? Eh, basic old wood. Okay, good enough. And we'll close out the library. And the big decision really is whether or not you like rendering and let's go to sure trimetric and we'll scooch in on that what deluxe has to offer is shading now with our render library so we go into the view and shade now and we see how our items have changed okay let's return back to that top view and shade now and we see a couple of items showing up reasonably well and with a shortcut to the inspector let's find out what this particular object is display transparency is off our attribute is that it's a cover surface base color is yellow and now we have a material and let's turn on auto width and height and apply that bingo splat we have a proper mosaic shade now and looking at that from the isometric and we'll close out the inspector zoom in on them once again and another we can change our ambient lights so we can increase the intensity and change our color so if we drop our intensity a little bit and drop our green a little bit shade now it's a subtle change 
And one of the other items that we have within the file, which I'll go into, is uh, underneath the compacting of files, is dealing with uh, reducing the file size itself. And that's basically it. All of our tools here with the solids and our surfaces and our surface modifications and our solid extrusions and sweeps and tubing tools and two rail sweeps and surface mods are the same as the pro version. So thank you for putting up with the crazy Norwegian and we shall torment you in a little while with a new discussion.